Hello gardening friends, welcome to Backyard Basics. I'm John Drumquill. There's nothing more fun than watching the hummingbirds in your yard. You can sit by, real close by. Some people actually put a little liquid in their hands and they'll arrive that way. In order to have them in your backyard, you'll need several things. One of them is food. Yes, it's all right to feed the uh, hummingbirds as they come through. Now the formula, and it, no red dyes are used. Those can be toxic to them, so we don't do that anymore. But the formula for mixing up the liquid is four parts water, and one part sugar. That's all it takes. You boil it now, and then you get it really into a, uh, a syrup. Now you'll use that on a three-day basis out on the, um, the feeders out there because after that it starts going bad and that's the worst thing that can happen. If you see the liquid becoming cloudy, you've got a problem. Put the rest of it away though in the refrigerator so that you can refill it every couple of days. But even that has a limit, and that would be on the outside seven days. Now, in between filling these things up again, you want to make sure that you really clean them very, very well. It's important to do that. It's almost sterile because um, anything left in there will begin to grow quickly and then it becomes um, a very short period to have some good liquids in there. So I would go ahead and make sure, darn sure it's cleaned um, and also take a look at some of them because a device like this needs to get in there and do the cleaning. You can also uh, soak them in hydrogen peroxide. That'll do the job. That's a real nice way of doing it. So a little mix like this, four parts water, one part sugar, some interesting feeders, and look at this ornamental one here also. These ornamental ones are, are really nice, and there are many different types of them. The main thing is you have to be able to clean them. So some of them are too ornamental, but cleaning them is uh, very important. Some people put bee protectors on there. You don't always have to do that, but a lot of people like to do that. And so you might consider that be um, one of the things that you might do out in the, um, the yard. I have a little habitat where I have different birds coming in, and one of the things that the hummingbird needs is some water. Water is very important. What they really like is a little mist. If there was a little mist out there, they'll fly back and forth through it and they get their water that way. When I put the sprinkler on, they'll do the same thing. You see them flying back and forth and that beautiful little hum that they produce is a, a great way to do that. It's really nice to have the plants out there though. The plants are very important and there are many, many different plants. There's, there's a whole list of different types of plants, uh, annuals, perennials. You can also start a little garden by using the seeds. The seed packets are available for hummingbird use. Now about 13 different ones come through Texas, but two stay here during the warm months of the season. So providing a little water for them, a little habitat. They like to live up in the trees. These are very important components of having a beautiful, set of hummingbirds staying in your yard. So some nice feeders, you can use them year round. If you think that you have to take them down in the winter time, that's not true. Many of them stay here and you're not keeping them necessarily because you have the feeder out there, it's because they need it. And if you think it's gonna freeze, go ahead and put it near a light that'll keep it from freezing. For Backyard Basics, I'm John Dromgul. I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.